Good morning. I am Sandra Gilliam from Arthur Ashe Junior Elementary School, and this is my wonderful fifth grade classroom. And today we will be doing number talks, back to back flashcard math, and we will also be doing word problems with a little graphic organizer that the kids learned how to do yesterday. Everybody's ready? Yes. All right. So first, we're going to do our number talk. Let's try this number. Mentally, when you get it, when you get your answer, you're doing this. When you get your answer, you don't need the marker, put it down. You're doing thumbs up if you got your answer. And if remember, if you got another way, you're doing this. All right, Javon, what you got? 68. How did you get 68? Because I know 30 plus 30 is 60. Okay, so he said 30 plus 30. Here's game 60. Four plus four is eight, and he added that together, and he got 68. Who agree? Okay, good job. Let's try another one. One more. Should we make it a little difficult? Yes. Okay. When you get it, when you get your answer, All right, Trinity, what you got? 107. All right, you got 107. How'd you get it? I stacked it. You stacked it. How did you stack it in your head? Tell me. Put 93 on top. Mm-hmm. Then I put 14 under it. And it. I know that 4 plus 3 is 7. Mm-hmm. And 9 plus 1 is 10. Good girl. Who did it that way? Anybody else did it a different way? Yes. Plus 10. You did not say it again, 90? Plus 10. Plus 10. And you got? 100. Uh-huh. And I did 3 times 4. And then four. you did 3 plus 4, and you got? 100. And you got, good girl. Anyone did that way? Good girl, I'm glad you thought of another way. And that's all mental math is. It's showing you you could do math more than one way. All right, take your weapon. All right, now we need a, I need, let's see. All right, come on down, Deja. All right, remember you got to turn back to back. You're going to turn back to back. Now, remember, you can write a number between 2 and 9 only for now. And you're going to turn your trays to us so we can see your numbers. And today, Trinity, I want you to tell us what the product is. <coughs> okay, go ahead. Turn it towards us so we can see. Trinity, what, what's the? 35. 7 <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daisy, you got to pick somebody. Pick somebody. Girl, come on. All right. Oh, my. Come on, Victoria. All right, remember, back to back. Erase it well. Turn it towards us. Yep. All right, Javon, what's the product? What is it? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you couldn't. Veronica, pick one more person. All right, and hold it up higher. When y'all get your thing. All right, ready? Remember two between two and nine. Hold it up higher so everybody can see. Hold it up higher. Hold it up. Turn and hold it up. No, no, towards us. So they can see, now hold it up higher. There you go. Um, Five times six. <laughs> he is killing it. Go ahead. That boy know his time tape. <laughs> I love it. Pick one more person. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Back to back, gentlemen. Here we go. And remember, hold it up high so we get so... Inaj, you can see it back there. All right. Uh, Deja, tell them the product. 27. 7 times 3. I mean, 9 times 3. Dang it. Ooh. 
All right. I was just about to say something. Thank you. All right. All right, gentlemen. Come on. Good job. Good job. I love the way we're working on those math facts, guys. Go home and practice. Yesterday, when we were doing our word problems, what was that we had did four quadrants? What did we do? What did we do yesterday? Give, give me a recap of what we did yesterday. Deja, what did we do? We did a graph thing. Thank you so much for the graph thing. <laughs> what did we do, Trinity? We did a T-chart. We did kind of like a T-chart. Yeah. Kind of like Vic boxes. Victoria. Like we can draw how many people there. Okay, and so and we did, it was four boxes, yeah. and in the first box we drew what the problem was about, right? Yes. All right, what was in the second box? The keywords or the math words. So we knew what they were talking about. What was in that third box? Genesis. We rewrote the question so it made sense to us. And what was in that fourth box? We actually wrote out the problem. All right. So this is what you're going to do today. I'm going to give you some more problems. We're going to do some world problems. At the end of this today, you're going to be making up your own problem. So you're going to get with your partner today. And you're going, we do centers, you're going to actually make up your own problems and we're going to solve your problems. So hopefully we'll be able to do that tomorrow. So tomorrow morning we'll be solving your problems that you make up. But we're going to practice first because, you know, practice makes perfect. So on your desk, you have some papers. I want everybody to take one that have some problems on it. And the first couple we're going to do together. I think I got an extra one right there. Thank you, baby. All right. Kyle, sweetie, the first one. What does it say, honey? Help me out. Okay, so it seems pretty easy. Ella loves some Legos. But you're going to do it with me. Instead of me doing it by myself, you're going to do it with me. So you, I want on your desk, you're going to draw the four quadrants. So we're going to make our big T. And what goes in this box? We're going to do what? Draw a picture. Okay, so we got to draw a picture. Now, what should we draw a picture of? All right, so the girl with some Legos, right? I'm not the best drawer, but I'm going to do my best, okay? So I know she did something with some Legos. How would I do? All right, so quick and easy. We don't have to make all. How many Legos was it? 12,000. Are we going to make 12,000 Legos? No. no, that's just way too much. So just make a couple of Legos. Good job. Isis, I love the way you made the little girl. She made a little girl with some Legos. Cute. All right. What's going in box number two? Our keywords. Yes. All right. What keywords? Now, we did our keywords yesterday. Remember, we still have them up on top. So what were some of our keywords in there? Yes, Anthony. How many? Say it again. How many? How many? So was how many in there? Anything else that's going to help us to understand what the problem want us to do? Have now. have now. So, but by our words we had yesterday, how many is where? Is it in what symbol? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Yeah. Is it adding? All right. So we're going to guess how many means to add. So we have an idea. Maybe this word problem is telling us we got to add. All right. What's in our third box? Our third quadrant. What we have to do? Question. Explaining your own words. So y'all read it again, look at it, and see how you can reword that where you fully understand. Because sometimes tests make it confusing, but if you restate it the way you understand it, it'll be a lot better. Yes, Victoria, what you got? How many Legos does she have now? How many Legos does she have now? Anybody else have something else? What? Yes, Gregory. Say it again, baby. Yeah, Ellen's, trying Ellen's trying to figure out how many Legos she has. Does that sound pretty good? Okay, so in here I'm going to say, how many Legos? How many, 
How many labels does Ellen have? Is that what you said? All right, now, the fun part. First of all, did y'all underline your math word or highlighted your math word in your sentence? Because I didn't see a highlighted hit on your paper. Okay? Now, what is it that we need to do? What's our numbers we need? Now, the fourth box is nothing but numbers. Yes, Trinity. Um, 12,080 Legos. 12,080 Legos. Uh-huh. And... She bought 417. No, she lost. Oh, she lost 417. Oh, y'all forgot to put that with your words. Lost. Mm. Mm. Oh, what'd you say, Jalen? That is a tricky one. That's why we always go back around instead of just reading the problem and hurrying up doing the numbers you see on the page. So now that you saw that, oh my, we got to put that in our quadrant. She lost some. So we had how many, but also she lost. All right, now read the whole thing again. Who can do it in big voice? Javon, go ahead. Read it over again for me. Ellen had 12,080 Legos, but she lost 417 Legos. How many Legos does she have now? Mm-hmm. All right, so our key word was she lost some. So now we know what we need to do. Subtract. Subtract. Do we need to add? No. Mm -mm. Good observation, guys. I love it. All right, so now what we got to do with this? Subtract it. So you guys subtract first. And then we're going to see if we all get the same number. All right. Can I take zero? From seven? No. I have to what? Borrow. I have to borrow. I got, got to borrow from my tens because my ones, I can't take anything from my ones. So I have to borrow from my tens. So since this is really 80, correct? Yeah. All right. So I'm taking, borrowing from there and making it a seven. seven. I have that one. It's jumping. It's like a little Mexican bean jumping all around on your paper. It wants to land. Where am I going to put it? Right. I'm making this a 10 now. So 10 from 7 is? 3. 7 from 1 is? 6. Oh, I did it again. Can I take? No. Mm -mm. But I can borrow again. Yeah. Okay. Making this a what? 11. Mm -hmm. And then I'm taking that 1 and making this a? 10. ten. So 10 from 4 is? 6. Don't forget your comma. One from nothing is? One. And bring down the one. Did everybody get? Yes. And see, I love when you write on your desk instead of paper because look how much room you have to write. And you can see exactly if you made a boo-boo in your adding or subtracting. Right? So it's easier to see. So when I was walking around and talking to some people, we saw our errors a little easier. Okay? Ready for another problem? So this is a good real world question. Read it one more time. Okay. The turtle at the zoo weighs 145 pounds. It is five times heavier than the baby turtle. How much does the baby turtle weigh? All right, so we have some poundage going on here. That's a pretty big turtle, don't you think? All right, so the first thing we got to do is what? Draw a picture. Draw a picture. So we, we clear in our mind that we are talking about a turtle. 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 Forgive me, because I, Miss Gilliam, and a turtle. Yeah, we're not best friends. Mine's going to probably look like a beetle. All right, so there go my little turtle. And he weighs about, what was it? 175 pounds. 45 pounds. Oh, and it's a baby turtle. No, it weighs... Mm. 
All right, so in my quadrant two, what are we putting in there? What's, what are our words that we can highlight if we were doing it on a computer, but on a paper we was to highlight, underline, box in, what kind? How much. How much? Anything else? Times. Times. So we got how much times. What's, what is the question asking? How much does the baby turtle weigh? What else? Because it said it's five times what? Heavier. heavier. So it's saying that something is five times heavier than the other turtle. All right, so what are we thinking? How can we reword it to make it a little bit easier for what we need to do? So how can you reword the question? I want you to think. Think about it. Yes, Victoria. It says that the, the, um, the big turtle weighs 145 pounds, but the smallest turtle weighs five times heavier. Mm-hmm. Five times heavier. Exactly. I'm telling you, this is the one you really got to think on, and this is what we'll see in the spring. You got to think. It's not something that you can just go, can we say 145 times five? No. Mm, y'all got some thinking to do. All right, we got to break it down. It says it's five times heavier than the baby turtle. <gasps> Try it. Tell me what you get. Author, say it a little louder. Tell me what you were thinking. All right, so he said do 145 divided by five. Now, why did you say that? Because it said how much. So it weighs like five times heavier than the baby Mm-hmm. So we're taking the number from, we're trying to figure out how small this baby is. And what's the opposite of multiplication? Very good. I know y'all I know had it in you. You just had to think. So now we know that our baby, the baby turtle, the baby turtle weighed 29 pounds. Oh, isn't that a cute little baby turtle? Mm -hmm. So the baby turtle, she 29 pounds compared to 145. So did we have to multiply? Yeah. So up here we said how much the baby weighed. We figured that out, but was it times? Yeah, no. So we knew we didn't have to multiply. We end up having to what? Divide. Divide. Because the opposite of multiplication is? Division. Thank you so much for coming to Arthur Ashe Junior Elementary School this morning. I hope you learned a little bit about multiplication and real world problems and how to solve them. We really enjoyed you today.